In this video, pretty much everything you need to know how to replace the AC compressor, belt tensioner, idler, accessories, pulley, and the fan belt on a C7 Assert Caterpillar diesel engine. This is a 535 wheel skitter, and this machine came from up north like that. One bolt, alternator is hanging on one bolt, short belt is not even from this machine. Guys, please subscribe, click that notification bell, you won't miss any videos, thank you so much for doing that. That idler pool is not even engaged, and AC compressor is shot. It's seized up, and it's finished. Guys, we're going step by step, and remove all broken parts, and replace them with a Caterpillar OEM parts. Quite a bit of work, and in 10 minutes... I will show you everything you need to know and enjoy and if you have any questions critics suggestions please drop them down in the comment section below quite a bit of work <laughs> that's funny I have never ever seen situation like that but you learn something every day and yeah life is sending you challenges look at that there's a coolant hose was rubbing against the alternator it's almost punctured through it's a piece of wire hanging and it was a quick bush fix. By the way, Caterpillar spent over 500 million dollars on an assert technology to develop that thing. Okay, guys, safety first, always wear safety goggles. All right, we need to remove the cross member plate to get access to those pulleys. Two bolts on each side, remove those ones and pull that bracket out. All right, now we're removing the bolt, holding the idler pulley. That pulley wasn't even in use. Take it out and we'll replace that pulley anyway with a new part. You can do that AC line from the top of the hood. Uh, remove that four bolts holding that AC condenser. We're not removing AC condenser completely. We just need to drop it down to get enough room for pulling that AC compressor otherwise it's on a way to remove that guy okay put a match mark on a fan hub that way we know how to put it all back together and no any hassle easy like that and uh, remove those uh, fan hub bolts from the hub tap 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 whack it a little bit with a hammer and it will come out yeah, just drop that AC condenser down and it's fine. All right, as you can see, now we have more room and that AC compressor eventually will come out. You will see that soon. Okay, take attention from the belt. I'm using a braking bar with a half inch square and slide the belt from the alternator pulley. And yeah, I'm gonna remove that <laughs> short belt completely. Surprisingly, it worked well, but that belt is not even from this uh, particular setup. It's short. Anyway, it is what it is. Bush fix, unplug that uh, AC clutch wire, and as you can see, it, it just got shredded <laughs> at the clutch side. Now we need to disconnect the lines because my system is completely dry empty. I don't need to extract the refrigerant, but if yours is not, you need to safely evacuate the refrigerant and take care of the environment. Okay, remove them. AC compressor mounting bolts. Guys, if it will help someone, that will be awesome. Okay, and now as I said, now we can pull it out from the front. That's <laughs> metal. Pieces are coming, sticking out, that clutch is finished, and uh, yeah, it is what it is. Now we're removing the belt tensioner, there's only one bolt, here we go, nice and easy, remove that guy, and we'll use that bolt, because new one will come without bolt. Anyway, bolt is still good, and put it on a pile, as you can see, I'm getting more parts. Put some paper towel, make sure dirt won't get inside the AC lines all right we're almost uh, half uh, through the process all right uh, we still have that problem with the alternator and one bolt here we go we got new parts arrived compare them side by side this is our accessories 
pulley nice and new straight from the caterpillar local dealer here we go shiny new belt tensioner we're going to replace that assert c7 belt tensioner will clean and use that bolt bolt is still fine compare always parts side by side and make sure there's no any differences here we go and as you can see <laughs> this pulley this idler was completely missing it wasn't on the machine pulley accessories and idler accessories there's a caterpillar c7 assert diesel engine and it also i got the picture print from the dealer how to route the belt okay okay wire brush that tensioner belt we're going to use that guy and uh, yep there we go and uh, yeah do the cleanup where the mounting surfaces make sure there's no any dirt and dust and spray the brake cleaner on a paper towel and make sure everything's shiny we don't want any dirt getting i'm using the medium strength blue loctite that will prevent those bolts from getting loose and protect the threads this is just medium all right we're starting with a small guy and we're putting that one yeah i i think it will might become helpful to someone and uh, i just uh, clip my gopro and it didn't take me any extra okay uh, tied that bolt and i also will go and torque those bolts after i done all of those three accessories idler the roller whatever you call it same way this guy was missing as i already mentioned and uh, now we're putting our brand new caterpillar c7 diesel assert belt tensioner and we got also new belt always start bolts by hand there's no power tools just uh, yeah simple as that and now we're going and torque them make sure they all torque properly all right all right sun is shining weather is pretty warm not too bad for the winter and uh, yeah as you can see we're getting close and so now we're um, getting our new ac compressor and uh, yep new compressor came with a new clutch we need to transfer that pressure sensor and uh, we'll use that one the still good part and yeah remove it from the old one make sure it's all clean and take that um, cap off and uh, yeah same way we're screwing that sensor on our new ac compressor yeah <laughs> well it, it probably ac compressor failed and the clutch got seized up and um, in the woods they figured out how to fix anyway it worked for some time but it came like that from up north and they got it from the auction all right uh place a new ac compressor on the mountain bracket align those four holes and see those long bolts i cleaned them and uh, yeah and started bolts by hand we always start threads by hand just couple of turns and now the test tight with the wrench and the socket guys very appreciated your time watching thank you so much and yeah we'll have a little bit more All right just connect those i connected those ac lines pressure line and low pressure line and connected the clutch and i also put a second bolt on the alternator there's no adjustments on the alternator just two bolts holding that and i found the right size and screwed that bolt and put a lock nut and washer now i need to get new belt installed okay uh pull the tensioner down and uh, yeah now we can start it with our belt as you see how it supposed to go and uh, yeah that's uh, no not not as such a big of a thing because we have lots of room it's actually easier than on some cars okay let's clean those um, uh, bottom pulleys uh, crankshaft uh, harmonic balancer pulley there's a pump pulley and a fan uh, pulley make sure there's no any dirt or any debris we don't want to get new belt 
worn out prematurely. I start with a harmonic balancer pulley, just uh, keep it tight and pull it up and go around the upper pulley as a fan belt rotting. You, you want to get a fan hub pulley and then I got over the compressor, AC compressor pulley and I, what I were going to do, just pull the tensioner and slide that belt over the smooth idler roller and that way no problem it will go like a butter see what i'm doing yep all belt is in the grooves and uh, yeah simple as that and uh, yeah check make sure it's all properly engaged in grooves and it's not twisted not uh cross against the slots on the pulleys and yep before you release make sure everything's intact and you won't cut the belt across or just a half engaged on the grooves yeah <laughs> it's actually pretty easy because of tons of room as you can see all right we need to put those brackets back and uh, guys appreciated your time watching subscribe and uh, i see a uh, cleaning those uh, fan hub bolts because we don't want any dirt we want those bolts start easily also use a compressor to clean those holes and threads yeah and uh, as i said if you have any questions drop them down in the comment section below and uh, yeah leave a comment like and it will help to like to share this video with other people and it will go up in search anyway uh always appreciated that and uh yeah as you see we have those alignment marks and the match marks on the fan hub and the pulley and it's easy to now align and start it bolts by hand and you don't need to uh, chase for that hole and the radiator fan is pretty heavy i tell you and it's not very comfortable to maneuver with it okay and we go on a diagonal pattern on a cross to and uh, tighten in those bolts make sure everything's tight and check them okay put in that bracket back i think one bracket is mi was missing on the machine on this on it which goes on the angle here we go guys check the check into the result shiny brand new compressor new belts new idlers new rollers new tensioner beautiful c7 assert caterpillar diesel this 535c caterpillar log wheel skitter will get a second life well its engine is great but those pulleys those things that were just a mess okay check it out take care guys and uh, yeah bye bye now see you soon